been like, I guess feeling lonely. That's probably the most appropriate way. Well, to put let's it. start with a fucking date, bro. Take yeah. her out, see how she laughs. Yeah. See how she eats her food if she's a slob or not. And if she's, I a, mean, I kind of find that cute in some girls, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I wasn't gonna say. I'm not saying that's a deal breaker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying whether she was or not. You yeah. Know? You know um, I mean? Speaking of, of girls, too, I was at uh, McDonald's last night because, uh-huh. uh, again, re up. Every time I re up, I get fucking fast food. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's mad fast, mad easy. And uh-huh. I went in because the line was like mad fucking long, and I was like, all right, I'm not sitting in my truck for the whole drive through shit. So I go went in. Inside. Yep. And first thing I see one is like 10 kids, probably between like 15 to 18, just chilling. chilling in there. And I was like, damn. That's what I, I used to do. Remember that yeah, shit, dude. Facts. Oh my God. We did that so much back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. You could, they were clearly high as fuck. One of them went up there and he's like, can I get a 20 piece nugget? And they all just like giggled in the back. I was like, okay. They're all, yeah. they're all sharing those nuggets. But yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah, why 100%. that was funny. But yeah, yeah. yeah, they're high, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's hilarious. And the and the woman that came in right behind me was uh, this fine ass milf with her kid, and she was like our age, and she had a kid, uh, yeah. gorgeous as hell. Um, yeah. She actually like really pale, uh, and like I like pale girls, and like pale, uh, pale girls. pink and blue hair, but Love like it. a light pink and blue. Like Sold. it wasn't like vibrant; it was like kind of just blended into like a blonde type Sold. of thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh damn, that girl's pretty fucking hot too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So her kid keeps tugging on my on my pants. Yeah. And I didn't know what it was at first. So I like kind of went like this and I touched his hand. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I just ignored it, ordered my food, yeah. went back, sat and wait. Well, I didn't sit, I just waited by the fucking ordering window. And the kid comes up to me again and he's like, hi, and starts like talking to me and shit. Yeah. And then after she's done ordering, she's like, hey, don't don't bother him. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. And she's like, yeah, sorry. Normally, uh, he normally doesn't just like talk to guys and shit like that. And I'm mm-hmm. like, and the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, oh, you know, I'm great with kids. So I'm not great with fucking kids, dude. Like, I don't uh. even fucking know or really like kids. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, instinct. I was just like, oh, this girl's hot. I you say you look like you look like his father. That's what it is. Maybe, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I thought you were my daddy for a minute. Yeah, well, she she brought up something like that. So we talked for like a few minutes and uh Pretty much towards when she was leaving, he, he was like, are you coming back with us? <laughs> oh, and was, no. And I was damn. like, no, no, no. So the lo- kid was doing that. Damn, so the kid knows, bro. She yeah. be picking up niggas at the, at the McDonald's. Probably, son. yeah. And um, Like, you come home, you smash your mommy on the Right, back? right, right, yeah. Damn, and, uh, son. Yeah, and and I laughed. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to say. And she You're was, like, man, you look at her like, am I going? <laughs> yeah, but she was just like, yeah, you can't say that to people. That's inappropriate. But that's all she said. Mm-hmm. She didn't dissuade it. She didn't say anything else and in, in involving it. So I was almost like, oh, damn, I almost should have like... Maybe hit that girl up, but yeah, I don't know. So you don't know her. You don't have anything. You don't no, no. I, I was uh, I was gonna ask for a number, but I just I uh, I kind of froze up, and the whole kid thing kind of freaks me out. The kid thing is a little freaky, yeah, and it's 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 kind of tough when you're in the moment and you're not there with that. You know, at least for me, with that in my mind, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Um, I had kind of a theory that um, girls that are single hate this time of the year just as much as we do so like yeah i've been getting hit on and hitting on people more with very positive responses yeah you know no yeah. how's your sex life going <laughs> non-existent <laughs> really non-existent you still yeah. uh talking to any of those ladies no no, no. that one girl i was talking, and i only feel comfortable talking about this because i know this isn't going to be up yeah but um well that- no this is going to be in the intro but Oh, you throw this in the intro? Oh, yeah. All right. Don't talk. say anything, All you right. know, rough. But. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 dude. I just, uh, I, I mean, I won't say that it's been non-existent. It's been existent. It's just not really going anywhere. Right. This one girl that I've been Snapchatting kind of, she's just like hella dry. And I'm just yeah. done. I think I mentioned it last week. I'm just like done. And it's not like I had any intentions or, or I had any like ulterior motives in my mind. I just... I'm just all set with that. No, I feel you. Know? you. Yeah, I, I added actually a couple girls on Snapchat, um, and one of them is this girl that I used to fool around with back in the day. But she's a lot of drama, but she throws it back. <laughs> so <laughs> crazy son. <laughs> so I, I added her on Snapchat. I like last time we talked was like two years ago, and she annoyed the fuck out of me. So I deleted her everything. I'm like you're mad fucking annoying. Jesus, okay. Yeah, like, dude, to get too much? to get me, yes. 
to get me to that point takes a lot, bro. Damn. But she got me there, bro. Goddamn. And I was just like, this bitch. She was like trying to fix all my shit. She's like, just let oh. me help you. I could fix. And I'm like, I don't need you. To, and she was saying it just like that. I'm like, bitch, I don't need you to fix me. Right. Like, leave right. me the fuck alone. Like, yeah. God. There's a lot of girls that are like, they want to find a charity case that they can take care of. It's and like, I was, yo. and bro, she was super into me. And I'm just like, I can't. Right. Right? I bothered the fuck out of me. So whatever. I deleted her on everything. Yeah. I added her back recently because I'm like, fuck it. I mean, like, why not? What's the deal? Right. And um, I, I haven't looked at any of her stories. And apparently the night I added her up, she put up this really like sexy Snapchat story. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't notice. I didn't look at it. My little brother, I was actually talking to him the next day. He's like, oh, dude, did you see that this chick? Because I guess he has her on Snapchat. She's like a family friend. We grew up together. Oh, okay. So she I doesn't like say, how old is she? Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> uh, so my little, my brother, who's 21, he's like, now I have to like disclose his age because <laughs> you never know. He's like, you see this chick Snapchat? I'm like, nah. He goes, bro, she posted some crazy thirst trap. Like she was trapping some nigga. I'm like, for real? He was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I just added her back on Snapchat. And I didn't even look at it. And he was like, oh, she deleted it after like 30 minutes. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Like, right. Checking to see if you looked at it. And yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. posting stories at the time. I just don't ever look on Snapchat. Yeah. Speaking of, I don't have you on Snapchat, right? No, you do. I just, I'm never on Snapchat, but yeah. I no. got a pretty funny story for you. Do you? When we start the pod, I definitely want to. All right, we should start it. We've uh, been in six, seven minutes. What is it? Are six we really? Minutes. Yeah, no, this is a nice little intro. We've this is a nice little Kind of riffing a little bit, but yeah. let's get this bitch started. All right, facts. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long That even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch I've done that recently, but I don't know, I haven't really good at it like every time I buy meats, I always write times two next to it because I freeze one of them, so I have it for the extra week out. Because I get paid bi weekly, bro. It fucking, I don't know if you do, but me too, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. gotta plan your spending out, so yeah, yeah, you gotta plan like rent at the end of the month and, and your last check, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like um, throwing back to that intro, I know, I mean, I've done this a few times. You ever been like into a girl, right? And you guys are fucking talking, you're. I don't know. You just have a little thing going, you think, at least. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you're posting shit on your stories, and then you're checking to see if they view it. Have you mm -hmm. ever done that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've done that a few times. Yeah, man. I. Uh, that's kind of like why I'm glad I'm, I'm, I've am i just been doing me for the last couple of years, because yeah. I, I do get – I don't want to say bogged down. Maybe that's not the best word, but I get kind of like – I get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is she I think that's a good shit? way to put it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. are, are we talking right now? Is a conversation interesting? What are we talking about? Yeah. You know? Um, not going to lie, though. Like, I am... I learned in my last relationship that I can be pretty jealous. Yeah. So, Same. Yeah. So I'm... Uh, you know, I've been pretty careful about not feeding into that. I think you got to be, man. Jealousy is an ugly trait. Or it can be. Yeah. No. It, yeah, definitely. I, don't, I think if you're aware of it, and especially if with us being at this age, I feel like it's only going to be, you know, uphill from here. There's a downhill from here. Well, yeah, man. I mean, how, I don't know. I, I, I've started foolish arguments and done stupid things over jealousy. And, yeah. um, you know, when I talk to her, I try not to, like, look at her story and shit. I try not to be, like, all over her Instagram because, like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't add much. And you know I agree. I mean? Yeah. It doesn't really. I don't know. I feel like I always think of those first like few weeks. Yeah. When you're like really into each other. There's a lot at stake. Like You both kind of know it, but you both aren't sure if you're the only one in each other's lives type of thing. Right, <laughs> right. The stakes are high. Yeah. Like you're feeling each other out right yeah, now. Yeah. You're finding out if you like each other and whether they like you and how much. And yeah. It, it's like there's a lot at stake. I was watching the show um, – I actually don't even know what the name of the show was because it was one of those ones where my TV was just on for so long that it kept playing shit. Autoplay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was yep. either Hulu or Netflix. I don't know. But this fucking girl was like, oh, yeah, no. And I just uh, – she was just like telling a guy that she liked him. Yeah. Just like flat out, like right in the beginning. And he was like, word. Like I, I really like you too. Let's fucking – and I was like, that's never that fucking easy. Like I don't know why they do that in movies and shows. Sometimes. Like, sometimes it's that easy. I've never seen it. Sometimes, Personally. yeah. Sometimes you just like, I like you, and they're like, I like you too. And it's just like that simple. 
Sometimes, yeah, that's never really, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I guess my experiences hasn't happened with me. Hasn't even gotten close to something like that. Yeah, it's I, always a fight. It's always a chase. It's always a. Uh, well, that being said, man, I think the chase is a lot more fun. Me it, too. Yes, yeah, so if I'm into a girl and she just gives it to me, like I don't even want to say way too easy because it's not really the best way to phrase it. But when she's just like, there is no chase involved. There's no hunt. It's just, uh, oh, you want it? It's yours. Like. I was like, yeah. Eh, it's I not- think the way you're wording it though kind of sounds sexual when you say it's, that. It's but it's, I'm not trying to make okay. it sexual. Like so it, just, just mean, in general, right? Okay. Like, and I don't necessarily mean like she's touching you back and and she wants to hang out. Like that's yeah. not what I mean. Just like, I mean, even as small as the interest of someone hitting you up without you hitting them up first. I like that. That kind of shows a lot to me. That shows a lot to, to me, me too. Yeah, yeah. I, I like know. that. I'm like, a fan of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even the, when some of my guy friends hit me up, I'm like, oh, word. Like I haven't. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's good? Like it's still a I agree. Good feeling, and you're you still know? like boys, you right. know, after all that time. You right. know, <laughs> you said it's a sexual. It's not, but you know what? That being said, and maybe this is just me. If I'm into a girl and we're talking, and like in the first couple days, like she's ready to throw it back for me. Like she's like, <laughs> All right, like it's yours. Like you can hit it all you want. Yeah. I'm like, that's kind of like eh. That it's not a turn off, but it is a slight like Almost a tra- like a little bit. Well, tra- yeah, bit. this is a fun conversation. So just because I, I, I like I said, I like the chase. I, I guess for me, that to me isn't necessarily a turn off in the uh, in the sexual point. It's mm. kind of like a oh, I'm not going to be with this girl. This is going to be a one time thing. That's when that clicks in my head. I, I've had that feeling before. I've yeah. had that feeling before for sure. So you kind of were like, oh, all right, this is just sex. Well, I thought that, yeah, when I had that request and after I got, I was like, okay, that's what it is. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm able to define it. Like, that's fine. If this, yeah. if this is just what it is, that's totally okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's fucking strange dating at our age. And then I talk, I have a couple of friends that they just like go out and, you know, in, in, in his words, blap, blap means to fuck, to smash. Okay. You know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> I don't actually. What's <laughs> blap? <laughs> blap. Blap is a is a smash. So what, you're just going out and, and blapping, or is yeah. that like a? Oh, I'm not blapping. Yeah, yeah. I know, but just I the, am currently not blapping. How would but. you use that in a sentence? Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> so I'm at the club. Me and Shorty were dancing. At the end of the night, she let me blap. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> shout, shout out to Bastion, bro. I love. This is uh, actually uh, a homie of mine that we've been hanging out lately. Damn. He's hilarious, bro. <laughs> She let me blap. She let me blap, bro. I've never heard that. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is fire, right? That's that sounds hilarious. fucking... That's hilarious. It's I don't know why. It's a perfect blap, bro. Yeah. She gonna let me blap. <laughs> she let me blap. You, know, you see the way she's dancing? Yeah, she's definitely gonna let me blap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I bet she's a good blap. Dude. I bet she... She's, yeah, she's a blap and a half, yeah. son. Oh, boy. Hey, you want to upgrade? You go blizz app. <laughs> blizz app. I got uh, shuddy last night. We blizz app. What if you wanted to create a new term for fucking... Do you have anything that would come to mind? I like blap. I'm gonna I'm gonna run with that one, bro. I'm gonna steal that from a boy. I like blap. I think smash is good. Smash it's aggressive, is good. but it's it's good. Hitting it, hitting its fire, hitting its fire, <laughs> throwing it back. Saying the pussy's fire too. For some reason, that that actually hits. I've heard girls tell me that they like that being said. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's right, like right. it's like when you're fucking a girl and she's like, "Damn, you're you're fucking love your dick." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Okay, bitch. yeah. When and, yeah, when I'm into it, yeah. yeah. I've had girls say that to me like. They were well. This one girl in particular was drunk. <laughs> this only one, only <laughs> yeah. one, only one. It's okay, John. It's there fine. was a, a, a <laughs> drunk ass girl at a party, and she's like, "Well, she said I heard you have good dick. You, you give great dick. I heard you got great dick, and I heard you like I want to fuck type of thing." Where? And this girl didn't know me. She definitely did not hear that. She definitely just fucking said that just to try to like. But my mind, me, I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, oh you heard right. Like, Wait, you heard right. Yeah, but it, it kind of caught me. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of cool yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. When I feel like the, um, and this is just me personally, but like when the uh, offer for sex is so blatant, and, yeah, you know, there's nothing to work for. It's just given. It's. I, I I probably don't take it. Like, yeah, you know, no, I have nothing. definitely turned down sex with strangers before. Yeah, it's right. just not. Sometimes I'm just not into it. In fact, most of the time I'm not into it. Yeah, but anyways, um, yo, so I have kind of a uh, to switch gears, and I hope you don't mind, dude. We never did an intro. <clears throat> Welcome to the brutal view. <laughs> how long are we? Twenty minutes in. Yeah. How Welcome almost. to the brutal view. This is episode seventy. I'm uh, Ruben. This is John. This We're is back. John and I'm Ruben. We're back. Yeah. Every week. Every week. 
to the Thanks podcast for listening. that no one listens to. And, yeah. And we appreciate it. Shout out to the few of you. To the to the six of you. So yeah. moving Wait, on. What you got? What you got? So, all right. So you don't look at my Snapchat story. That's fine. The reason I ask you is something pretty interesting happened this week. Okay. All right. So um, one, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm at home. I got back from work. It's about 6 p.m. And lately, I've been like doing a daily clean, at least little by little. Because what I do is once a week, I do a deep clean. But I've started doing a daily clean. That way, at the end of the week, it's not so much. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. So um, I'm doing dishes. I'm cooking dinner. I'm just cleaning up a little bit around my apartment. And then I have my door open. I have music going. And outside my door, outside my screen door, is a little kitty cat. Just walks up. Okay. Right onto the porch. All right. <laughs> and he just sits on the porch, looks through the screen, and starts meowing at me. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, what's up, homie? I go outside. I did see a cat on your Snapchat story. Okay, so you do. The black I, cat? Black cat. Okay, I so did me, see that. So let me hit you with this, Yeah, bro. so, right, so right. I go outside and start petting the kitty. She's super fucking friendly, super nice. Okay. We vibe hard. I'm petting her for like 30 minutes, bro. I shut off the stove because I'm like, fuck it. I'm focusing on this cat right now, dude. Straight up. <laughs> so... <laughs> I was chilling with the cat, and I was done. I was like, all right, see you later. I close the door, go back inside, finish cooking. Cat's still out there. I actually go back out, pet her a little bit more, leave her alone, close the door, sit down, watch TV, eat my dinner. Three, four hours go by. Okay. It's nighttime now. All right. I go outside to smoke, and she's chilling right next to my car. She's just hanging out. I'm like, what's up? Smoke, pet her a little bit more, open my door. I'm like, you want to come in? She comes right into my apartment. And she just chills with me. And from that day on, I've had a cat. What? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I'm 100 percent serious, dude. <laughs> this cat walked into my house, bro. And she's just been with me ever since. So you're buying like cat food and shit? I have cat food. And, and like, cat litter and water. That's fire. And she's been chilling with me. And she's so fucking friendly and wait, cool, wait. bro. She's so, so dope. A neighbor hasn't come to you and been like, yo, you you know where a cat is? Have you I'm, seen a cat? I'm getting her checked for a microchip tomorrow. Okay. I'm getting her checked for a microchip tomorrow. This place that does it for free. And um, if somebody owns her, obviously I'll give them back to the owner. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. But she's so fun. And I didn't really want her at first. I'm like, eh, she's kind of like a fucking cat. Like, right. A but I mean, how, if any animal keeps coming back and chilling, dude, even if like a squirrel did that with me, I'd probably let it in. Yeah, right. To be honest. Yeah, right. Right. But this, she's so fucking cool. So friendly. All she wants to do is cuddle, bro. Like I'm on the couch the first night and she sits right next to me. She just looks at me and she's just chilling. We're just vibing. So we've been taking it nice and slow. I didn't really want the cat. I still kind of don't want the cat, but <laughs> I'm kind of like, she's growing on me. Yeah. I named her Papa. Nice. Papa. Is, Papa is potato in Spanish. Okay. So she's Papa. Nice. For now. And uh, yeah. So yeah, where your apartments are, because I kind of, you told me it's by this restaurant that I know in yeah. Nashua. Uh-huh. Um, there's, a, I would imagine, a few apartment buildings. Oh you? yeah, it's it's very residential around where I live. So it could be a number of different neighbors' cat that just happened to to stumble across you, type of thing. There are plenty of neighbor cats. There are plenty of uh, strays around that I'm not sure what it belongs to or what she belongs to. I mean, she's super friendly, which leads me to believe she's been around humans her entire life. Right? It yeah, makes a lot of sense. I was gonna say hundred yeah. percent, and that's why I'm like, oh, there's no reason she would have walked into my house otherwise. Yeah. Um, if, especially if she's not astray. So that's why I want to check if she has a micro trip and I'll, I'm definitely going to return her if it comes down to, but I'm kind of just enjoying her for now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's um, kind of dope. Yeah. I don't I really, man, like the, these fucking cacti that I have, they're not doing it for me. Yeah. I got to fucking, I got to get a pet. I got to get something. Do you want her? Do you want this cat? I don't know if I want a cat. Okay. I just feel like my apartment doesn't allow for a cat that well. What makes you say that? I don't know. If you don't want a cat, that's fine. I, I think know. just space-wise. But like, she's so cool. I've grown up with dogs my whole life, and I, I, I just think a dog in here would lose its fucking mind. I imagine a cat would kind of be the same way. No, my apartment's uh, probably very similar in size to yours, if not – nope, we're probably pretty much the same size, Yeah, to be honest. Uh, mine's just under 1,000 square feet. I think it's 800 square feet, Yeah, like mine's, mine's around the same. Yeah. Um, and she's – bro, she's chilling, you know? No problem. She sleeps on the couch. Last night I was in bed and she crawled. Dude, I had my arm like this. She crawled up right here 
she just sleeping with me. I was like, oh, this is dope. <laughs> hey, honestly, it's made me a lot happier, like having something around See, to care for. See, that's exactly what I'm going for, like, dude. A like, lot happier. Like I'm yeah. fucking like feeling. You seem a lot better spirits this week than, than really? last week. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a cut. I think yeah. it's a fucking cut. Honestly, and I've been going out a lot lately. I've been meeting yeah, people. That's been helping me a lot, dude. This week I've, yeah. I've gone out a lot to restaurants and just mm-hmm. talking to people, dude. And cool ass fucking people. Like good I've had damn. nothing but fucking good experiences this week, which is nice. Last week, Same. though, we did talk about how like generally when you're unhappy, and at least speaking from a psychology standpoint, because I've taken multiple psychology courses in college mm-hmm. and shit. Mm-hmm. Me too, yep. There's two main factors, and obviously this isn't always the case, but either your work life is making you unhappy or your personal life makes you unhappy. We were kind of talking about that last week off mic, which was a great conversation, by Mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about, yeah, maybe you need to fill some type of a void in your personal life. (laughs) I've been thinking about it like, I need to fill that fucking void in my work life, dude. Okay. My work life is dragging me the fuck down. Do you hate your job? Do you hate what you do? I don't, but it's just a lot. Like- Two weeks ago, I worked 62 hours that week. Man. Last week, I worked 59 hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm supposed to be working 40, 45, and I'm a manager. I shouldn't be working an extra 15, 20 hours a week. Like, it's fucking killing me, bro. What are you going to do about it? I love my my time outside of work, and I, it, it keeps me happy. It's just I know that because I have this set unsettling feeling, like I kind of feel like I, I need to get an iguana, bro. I need to get a lizard. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want a lizard bad, and I, I, I might do it today. You should get a lizard. I might do it today, dude. Really? I don't know. Like, I was thinking of going to a fucking, to a Petco, PetSmart, and getting something, but you I don't get know. Get it from when. a breeder. Get it from a breeder. Don't yeah. get it from Petco. Petco kind of sucks. They, they, I, I don't even think they do live animals anymore, if I recall. They had like a big lawsuit kind of recently. Oh, fuck. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong about that. I, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about that. I don't know if there's um, live breeders around here, though. Oh, like, you can find something on. Like, I only say that because you can get one that's healthy, that's been bred properly. Yeah. Is is an inbred, I should say. I kind of want a, a baby bearded dragon. I was going to say, a bearded dragon would fit you pretty well. Where yeah. would you put it? In your room? Well, I'm here? thinking that um, I'm going to end up. Over there, maybe, next to the TV? Right. Putting that box, uh, I, I got to just take everything out of the box, sort it and all this shit down here, get rid of the box, and then put it there. Um, I was thinking of putting it by my piano, because I think that'd be more aesthetically pleasing for the room, but mm-hmm. it's just the... Uh, yeah, no one cares about the place. Dude, lizards are dope. Beater yeah. dragons. I used to have a beater dragon. Yeah. They're fucking dope. Great yeah. animals. My buddy had what, one, too. What place is this? I don't know. I've that's looked up so many of these things. That it's shit like looks so cool. Is crazy, that right? or some shit? It, I think it's like uh, uh, maybe Saudi Arabia. Like Dubai or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something fucking nuts. Some desert fucking rich city. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get yourself a pet. Yeah. I'm liking, I'm liking Papa. She's really nice. Um, she kind of like brightens up my day. I love coming home to her. and She's yeah. chilling. She's always cuddly. Yeah. I watch TV and she's right there with me. She loves to fucking chill there while I watch TV. Yeah. So I was even thinking like, I feel like I could just have a bearded dragon just chill anywhere here while I'm fucking doing shit. Like I could be chilling here watching TV or playing Xbox or something, have him chilling right next to me. Yeah, yeah he's going to shit everywhere, but the tiny ass shits. Like, yeah. They're the fucking this big. Like, right, you know right, what I right. mean? Like, I don't know. I, I just feel like I'm, I really need to get something like that. Your biggest worry would probably be just him getting stuck yes, somewhere. Yes, right. Like so, behind the fridge, under the couch. Exactly. It's cabinet. something I'd want to keep an eye on. And if like I, on a fucking leash. I'm drinking or something, stays in the uh, terrarium, don't even fucking take him out. Yeah, but Peter Dragon, they don't even run that much, man. They're chill. Oh, I know. But I know me, if if I get fucking drunk enough where I pass out and then I wake up and it's I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> you'll, you'll throw them in the freezer? Where is it? Like, no, I, I just think it'll get stuck somewhere and I won't be able to find it. You know? Yeah. Then I'll smell a dead fucking yeah, bearded after, dragon. Exactly. <laughs> after a couple weeks, like, I never did find them. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it's just, it's yeah. like a warmer day where the heat's blasting. You're like, oh, that doesn't smell good. Right, right. Yeah. Something smells, yeah. No, that'd be disgusting. Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. Um, that is pretty gross. Yeah, man. I've, I've been considering it more and more each week. And God, I think I got I to gotta do it because my work life's going to remain this way until I can get the the wheels back on and train people accordingly so yeah man i mean at the end of the day your your upper management of your company you got to do what you got to do right but don't kill yourself over them bro right right so don't kill yourself because they i mean i guess this isn't really pod talk but they're taking me on a retreat uh in november they're gonna blow you 
basically. And it's going to be two to three days where I'm going to be, it's like up in Northern New Hampshire. I thought it was in Florida, but they're paying for a hotel. They're paying for all this wild shit. They got like complimentary bars and shit there, yeah, and like yeah. restaurants. It's dope. Um, and then at the end of that week, I'm getting my performance review because I've been a manager for almost two years now. And you're going to get a raise or a bonus? They said it was going to be a minimum of a $10,000 raise. $10,000 oh, yeah. salary raise, which nice. is like at least 3 to $4. So Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fire. So. That was very nice. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. I'm fucking trooping. Good for you, bro. I've been uh, kind of planning a little vacation lately right yeah. now because I feel you. I, I kind of need a break. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to go probably at the beginning of December, and you're going to hate the place I'm telling you where I'm going. Take a guess. What's the worst place I can go to right now? Worst place you can go to? In the United States. I mean, I'd say Florida. That's where I'm going. (laughs) (laughs) You guessed it fucking right on, dude. That's fucking bad. I know. Hell yeah, dude. I guess Florida. Florida. And that's where I'm fucking going. Because the plane tickets are like $150 round trip. I was just looking at this shit, dude. I was just looking at this shit. So fucking cheap. Remember that fucking uh, girl that uh, wanted to come on the pod? That, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. To, to talking about fucking and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she um would post it on her IG story. She's like, look at the fucking prices of this shit. Yeah. I almost like replied to her, but I was like, whoa, hold on. Yeah, yeah. And I just yeah, looked yeah, it up right. and I was like, whoa, this is fucking real. This is like, this is insane. But um, so me and my friends, me, Robbie, and Nick, the guy that was here a couple Nick, weeks ago, nice, we're okay. probably gonna end up going there yeah. for a couple days. Um, rent a hotel. I want to go, man, because I want a club. I want to party. I want to dance. I want to drink. I want to be vibing, bro. I want to have a good ass time. Yeah, big it's dope. time. Yeah, it's gonna it's be dope. It's gonna be dope. I think I'm gonna do something for my um, birthday weekend. So next When's that Friday, coming up? I have off. It's the following Monday. Your birthday is next week. Uh, it's November first. So oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. This is dropping on like the tw- I don't know 27th or some shit. It's dropping around towards later in the week. By the way, we should have done a Halloween episode this episode would you want to do like a dress up thing next up next week or do you not give a shit eh, i don't really give a shit all right to be honest i mean i'm still kind of working on the costume that i'm gonna wear for halloween um i'm a bald guy which kind of limits what i can do yeah significantly with a beard so it really limits me but right <laughs> now what i'm gonna do this year for halloween is you've seen austin powers i'm sure so in the movie Goldmember, there's a scene, one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie, where Dr. Evil goes to prison with Mini-Me. Right. And they're in prison and they're going to- Iconic. Gonna, yeah, iconic, bro. He's like, here's what you're going to do. You're going to start a riot and we're going to rock right. right out the front right, door. Right. And then everyone's like, no. And they sing this song, it's a hard right, rock. Right, Jay-Z, you remember that? of course. Exactly. Yes, yep. I'm going to wear, I'm going to be wearing that. The bandana, the shirt, the suspenders, the pants- it's gonna be fucking stupid, bro. I can't wait. So you're mimicking a ch- Doctor Evil's costume, yeah. of a prison inmate, yeah. That kind of has like a cholo type, a ch- of hella cholo yeah, vibe. Like vibe to it. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, I- I'm all gonna right. have a scar. I'm gonna have one of my friends paint like a makeup scar down my nice, eye. Nice, yeah. Doctor Evil. I'm gonna do this. Look at this. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah, got awesome. the pock do rag, like where it's not uh, all the way in, and it's just the bandana tied with the thing on the exactly side on, on the, the front. Side. It's on the front. front. Right, right, it's right. so fucking dumb, dude. That's dope. It is dope. dope. No one's going to get the reference. It's just going to be for me. It's totally fine. Well, if you get it before next week's episode, wear it. (laughs) I will. I have to visit a couple thrift stores to find the clothes that I need. I still am missing stuff. To be honest, I'm I'm so fucking busy. I probably wouldn't even get to a Halloween place. yeah, I'd be I'm like, not, next Saturday morning, I'd be like, bro, I got to go there still. Like, you know what I and mean? And like, <laughs> in, in all reality, how I, in my opinion, yeah. and maybe you disagree, maybe people disagree, but if you dress up for Halloween and the Halloween costume you buy is a $20 thing from the Halloween store that's super popular and it's mega cheap and it's going to break after one use, I mean, like, are you really – are you really getting into the spirit? Yeah, not Are you at really all. dressing up? Like, if you wear a fucking scream mask and a pair of jeans for Halloween, right? Are you really? <laughs> are you really dressing up? Yeah. Like, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not. I, I don't even like how my mom never let me celebrate Halloween because we were mega religious I growing up. Love Halloween. But I just, I just think it's kind of dumb. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. Well, I, I'd say last year Eric and me dressed up as Mario and Luigi on the fucking pod, and yeah. it was pretty funny. I but we ended up like we were just like chilling. We were having drinks. Like we were enjoying the night it was a friday night too so like it kind of was worth it mm-hmm. i feel like for us <laughs> it's saturday morning you know what i mean we're gonna be yeah. dressed up in a halloween like yeah yeah feeling like fucking assholes yeah it don't really fit like we're gonna be getting fucking breakfast with a jason mask on like it's not like I yeah don't know. exactly so it's a little foolish 
Yeah. Um, did you see fucking Alec Baldwin shot and killed someone two mm-hmm. days ago, three days ago? Yeah, that's. I feel really bad for that guy. <laughs> yeah, that is fucked up. When dude. Jake sent it to me, I like I laughed really hard because I thought it was like all a joke. I was like, no. oh, this is fucking, this is no, gold. No, yeah. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, he shot someone with a prop gun on set. Like, that's funny. And then I was like, oh, like he shot and killed the director. Oh, it wasn't the director. It was a, it was a actor. Actor? Oh, yeah. I thought it was a producer. Director no, because they were, they like were that. acting the scene out and the scene required him to shoot two people. And so he shot the first one and then shot the second one and was just continuing the scene like, oh shit, these people are bleeding for real. Like this is not a game. I, at least I, I don't, from what I've read, I didn't think it was a producer. It looked to me like it was the actor. Okay. But I might be wrong. Do you know who? Uh, some some chick. It was a woman that died. Well, yeah. But do you know why? Like, like why would there be a prop gun with actual rounds in it? So that's actually a big – I was reading up on it on Reddit because people have a lot of opinions on Reddit. Yeah. But, um, a couple of prop people, like people that do props in movies, actually answered on Reddit. They're like, this is a huge oversight. This should have never happened. There should have never been real bullets on the set. Right. And the prop master, like there was somebody in the comments that was like, whenever I give someone a gun on my scenes, I always check the gun first, make sure there are no bullets in it. Clear it, then give it to the actor. The actor gives it directly back to me. Like it never exchanges hands in the middle. Like I don't know. I, it kind of feels like foul play. Like who That's exactly what bullets? I was getting at. So, who benefits the most out of this woman dying? Right. You know, who benefits right. out of out of Alec Baldwin shooting someone? Like right. Maybe it's not necessarily the woman dying. Maybe it's just causing chaos. Of course, maybe it's just yeah. a sick fuck. You know, Baldwin. He's a very anti-gun. Dude, so is it really? Yeah, so I didn't this know that. It, this all is playing into it for me, where it's like this was a, a setup. This was yeah. something big that happened. Yeah. Um, Apparently, he's all kinds of fucked up. And oh he's, yeah, he's not doing okay right now. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd imagine. Can uh, you imagine? Like, I'm I accidentally pretty sure he's never one. killed someone. So, I mean, do you think you can kill somebody? Yes. Seriously, seriously. Hold on, that was too quick. Think about this. Bro. I've thought about this no, 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 for no, no, a no, long no, no, time. No, 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 I, I can no, no, no. definitely kill right, someone. All right, all right, all right, all right. Random person. Stranger. Okay, so do you mean like without cause? Yes. No. No. Cannot kill someone without cause. Why not? I have no reason to. What if you had to? Give me a scenario. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Paint um, it for me. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's anarchy. There's no justice. There's no government. There's no one to protect you. You're walking home. You know you're not supposed to be there right now. Somebody comes up to mug you. They pull a knife on you. If someone, I, I don't know. This is if a I live scenario, in a society where there's it's anarchy and there's no cops or government, I would kill random people all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you're sociopathic? Are you maybe, the sociopathic? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe Respectful. a little bit. Yeah. Well, the way I'm thinking of it is that it's kind of like a dystopia. Like we're, we're, if we're walking down the street, the nicest person that you see will probably send a kid out as bait. Help, help, help. You go to help them, they fucking stab you in the heart. You know what I mean? I think of the worst case scenario. I don't trust no one in that type of shit, dude. I'm shooting kids. So if they, in that scenario, would you kill the kid? Yeah. He, he, he lunges to stab you. And you if I see the kid hand. walk out in the road, I'm shooting him. That's fucked up. I, I know, dude. It's dark, but I don't trust anyone in this current world. I'm not going to trust anyone in a fucking dystopia. You know what I mean? Do you think it'd fuck you up killing somebody for the first time? Yeah. You think you'd lose sleep? Yeah. Definitely. You'd be one of those people, like, whenever I close my eyes, I see the faces of the people that I've killed. I yes. S- I hear demons in my sleep. Yeah. You're already there right now. Just start killing people. Make it a lot worse. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to sleep anyway. Uh, there's a lot of things I could branch off in this conversation, but um, do you know anyone that's killed someone in real life? Uh, my friend killed himself. Other than that, like murdered someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, my friend shot himself in the head. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, I have a similar friend. Yeah. I have a couple friends actually. But um, a horrible story. It was right. a really good friend of mine. But anyways, <laughs> it got really which, dark. Is, which is why I feel like <laughs> confident saying it because it was like a really good friend of mine. Right. Yeah. Um, no, same. Like, yeah. Do I know somebody that's killed someone? I know three people that I'm friends with that have killed people. I mean, I know people in the military that have definitely killed people in the military. Okay, so yeah. in that case, five people then. I mean, yeah, there's this Fucked kid up. I grew up with. I love him. He's one of my boys. I won't say his name, but he's one of my boys, OGs from the from the get-go. And um, graduated high school, 
Don't went, say anything too incriminating. So And went straight to the Marines. Okay. And he's always been very... I don't want to say like he lacks remorse because he doesn't, but he's always been very intense. Like yeah. if, you, if you get him to a certain point, he can definitely kill somebody and like walk away from it. You know what yeah. I mean? So he he's in the Marines now. I have almost no doubt in my mind he's killed people, which I mean, he said his, his entire life that he's wanted to do that. Yeah. Like he's like, I want to kill people. Yeah. So, okay. I know someone like that as well right. who's in the military right, right now. Right, right. Yeah. And I mean- He's really on dark, our side. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say it's, it's. I mean, dude, but that's the. I love like, him, bro. He's my boy. <laughs> there's people like that all over the world that oh, are yeah, fighting yeah. against us too. So right, exactly. you know what I mean. You got to kind of, you know, right. odds with evens. But I have two fucking horrific pieces of that, uh, and I don't want to have this dark. So we're gonna make light of it. So one of these, one of my friends that has killed someone, <laughs> hit someone with a car. Oh no! A homeless person drove away. No, Got called caught. the cops, did everything right, Yeah, murdered the person, and the state said, you did the right thing, we're not going to charge you. Shut the fuck up. Right. Because it was a homeless guy. Because it was a homeless guy. The homeless guy jumped out in front of his vehicle. Okay. That's different, though. And he was apparently also high on substances. That's different, then. 100%. But it was uh, a homeless guy that like a community knew. Like everyone kind of knew this homeless guy. It yeah, was like right, one of right. those type of homeless. Um, right. So there was like kind of some uproar. He got some backlash. He got some death threats and shit like that. But uh, yeah, he he got away with it, and he said it fucks him up. He he did. He hit him with his car. He remembers everything. He said it fucks him up. Yeah. This other kid I know, which I love this guy. Uh, haven't spoken to him in years though. Mm-hmm. Got home one day, and this this has always scared me because I was thirteen when when I heard this story. Um, he got home one day and his wife of his children was on her knees with another guy and his ass was facing the door. Yeah. So that's all he saw was his wife on his knees. So he dropped his shit, charged, yeah. Yeah. tackled the guy. Yeah. The guy hit his head, died on impact. Like that? Yep. So the guy that tackled him, the guy, my friend, is like 280. And he's like six foot four. And when he tackled him, killed him. Did uh did five to seven. I think he got out in five on good behavior. Five to he did time? Yeah. Well, I mean that is manslaughter. Yeah, it's it, it's, manslaughter. it's manslaughter. I think it was second or third degree. What about the wife? What, what is she? Oh they're still not together. I they're heard. not together. Uh he almost has full custody of the kid now. I hope good. he's doing well. Um yeah, he's really fucking good guy. He's an amazing artist. Um what a shitty thing to happen. Yeah, horrible. You know, like he was just, I would have reacted the same way. I probably would have, I swung, I would have fucking charged him. I would have done something, but the guy hit his head wrong when he fell and he died. Fucked up. I was like, damn. Like, so it's weird because, like, you think about it and, like, I'd imagine most people in the world, never mind the country, don't know anyone that have murdered someone. I know a good amount of people. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fucked up, dude. Right? It's kind of fucked up. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. We can get off murder, but uh, Alec Baldwin shot and killed someone. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you think know? we should get off murder. Right? <laughs> I think we should. That's kind of a fucked up story, dude. Yeah. No, it's dark. That's, um, a, that's tragic, man. That's awful. If you that's could as fuck. listen to one musical album from a dead artist, who would it be today? Well, I don't understand the question. Like, an album if an that's artist out or was an album resurrected that's out? and created a new project okay. today, what dead artist would it be? Mm. I can give you mine if you want to think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, give me yours. Give me yours. Michael fucking Jackson, hands down. He touches kids, though. That's not 100% proven. He touches, bro, he sleeps with kids. Still not 100% he proven. He sleeps with kids. Even after all these years. Have you seen the documentary? I have. It's incriminating. It's very disgusting. It's horrifying. But Michael Jackson fucked those kids. Yes. <laughs> there's uh, there's no there's no. I said that like yeah and like <laughs> yeah but he oh shit he also made some of the most influential music of our time yeah. so <laughs> so bro so no, evens out my 100% real answer is big pun but I think Michael Jackson would make a phenomenal project dude I'm gonna say or like Prince you know what I mean like I'm gonna say right now I'd probably say MF Doom Doom-a-lay. MF Doom Doomalay Doomalay ooh I'm gonna get controversial right now mm. I don't think he was very good in his later years. Yeah, that's okay. 
And that's fine. So I mean, say he was still alive last year. If he came out with an album this year, I don't think actually he did. He just dropped an album with uh, the Alchemist. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I did hear some of that project, right? Um, and it's fucking good. Yeah, but that's I thought that really was that's up over like seven, eight years of music. That's like a yeah. lot of unreleased shit. So. Yeah, that's stuff that they worked on and never dropped. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think if Doom he made a new album, I don't know if it. I mean, in all reality, man. Michael Jackson, we have his hits. Well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> we you know don't have to stay I mean? on Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, who else? You know. Well, I mean, I actually thought you would. You might have gone to Big and Pac, to be honest. No, dude, those are obvious ones. Those motherfuckers are dead. The rap style is already. Well, it's been a million years since then. You don't think they would have adapted, made a new album? That's maybe, yeah. but we'll and, and don't know. get me wrong. We'll never know. Pac, uh, uh, uh you know, Biggie Smalls. Yeah, respect the music. Love what they did. I still listen to it to this day, but I mean, it was a theme. It was a vibe and a hit, and it's still prevalent now. So I don't need right. another one. Yeah, I don't know. I think Big Pun still my my number one. Uh, he's still my favorite rapper of all time. No, I like that. If I, I could Big resurrect, Owl. if I Ooh. could resurrect something to create something artistically, it would probably be Chadwick Boseman, and that's not he's not an artist. Yeah, right. But I wish he were he was back for the that was fucking cancer. traumatizing, dude. I was like, no fucking way that he had cancer for four fucking years, bro. And then I fucking hate watching the interviews about so it. So sad. There's dude. this. I think I've brought this up before. This is interview where she asks him, like after Infinity War, she goes, "Are you getting ready for the next Black Panther movie? Is it coming soon?" Yeah. He goes, "I'm dead." Yeah. And she I, goes, "What do you mean?" He I goes, saw that. I'm yeah. dead. He's like, I'm, I'm dead. There's no more. Everyone was like, oh, he spoiled the He's movie. He's dead in the movie. And then it came back and it's like, like No, he knew he uh, was going to die. Yeah. Like he knew he didn't have that much time. He's like, no, I'm dead. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't make it that far. I do like that he finished that version of the Marvel phase. He got yeah. through Endgame. Like, and they have the Black Panther to Endgame. But it's only mm-hmm. three movies, dude. Yeah, I agree. You know, I, I guess agree. he was in Captain America: Civil War, so four movies. But yeah, but it that wasn't was like even the suit was different in that movie. Right, you need like a f- like a good three to five superhero movies for them to get like solidified. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And God, I just wish he had more. I mean, even from those three four movies, man, Chadwick Boseman will forever be one of the greatest. Yeah, Marvel heroes. For everyone. Well, he will be the Black Panther. I know they're going to make all these new Black Panthers because the Black Panther wasn't one character. Similar to Thor in the comics. Thor wasn't just one character. It's a title. I don't know. He will – Chadwick Boseman will always be the the Black Panther for me. Um, You know, I got to watch. I got to watch the OG Avengers, man. Like the cartoon one. I haven't seen that shit in years. Good-ass movie. Good-ass fucking movie. Yeah. I love those, uh, those. Those ones are so fucking fire. Right. Because the niggas were, ones were dying crazy. in that shit, bro. Bad. <laughs> dying like the entire, like we were losing heroes the whole movie. Bro. Right. Right. Those cartoons, they did it different, bro. They really. Oh, yeah. If we're staying on uh, Marvel shit for a little bit. And our listeners hate it because that's all we do. Nah. We got some some fans, some nerdy fans, you know. It. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Deadpool 3 is officially going to introduce Deadpool into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. They agreed it will be a rated R movie. Okay. But Disney's now saying, since they own the rights to Fox and Marvel and all the stupid shit, they're like, we don't want to release it under the Disney name. And I'm like, "How how can that make a difference to the viewers? That doesn't mean anything to us. It's yeah, it's just a branding thing for Disney, man. They've always been weird about what they portray on their platform, but at the same time they say that and then they drop like kid shows on Disney Channel that the producers are avid pedophiles. pedophiles yeah. You know, that are very, very prevalent and prolific yeah. at this point. Yeah. You know, so Disney has really weird values and morals. Um Yeah, purpose. I don't know. I, I my main thought is that they're just like, oh, so we're not gonna release this on Disney Plus. Ha ha ha. It's like you guys are just fucking the fans on this. Like you're not yeah. you're not throwing it in the face of anyone by doing Yeah, yeah. It. No one gives a shit that right. Disney's trying to be family friendly. No one gives a like, fuck. Ooh. The only people <laughs> that care are Disney. Right. The only fucking people. And Disney's a bunch of old white fucking pedos too. Racist. And Disney's a bunch of weirdos. Like, oh yeah, they're fucking Big time. Yeah. I don't Spe- know. Speaking of, have you ever been to Disneyland? Yeah, like the park. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I did when I was a kid. I love to go as an adult. I watched this video recently where this woman is at Disneyland and she's talking to a guy dressed as Gaston and Gaston. You know Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Yes. So he's brawlic in that movie okay and in the park the guy's also a beefcake like okay he's, bro he's fucking 
he is ripped. Yeah. Like yeah. fucking but huge. Like he walks around like this. And I was like, holy shit. And she walks right up to him. She starts touching his chest and rubbing up against him. And he's like, no. He shuts it down. He's like, no, don't, don't. He's like, walk away. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Good. don't, don't touch me like that. Walk Good away. Shit. And she didn't get it. She kept on touching him. He's like flinching. He's like, stop touching me. Right. Go away from like, me right now. Club, bitch. This like, is get fucking, away. Like, this right. is fucking Disneyland. Right, right. I'm not here for, and imagine if the tables were turned, right? If you're a sexy girl and so and, and the girl is attractive, and you can also say like a hot guy goes up and right, starts yeah. touching her. That same guy goes up to a hot girl and then starts doing that shit. That starts grabbing her, screaming and touching occurs. Her. Cops are called. You exactly. know what I mean? Like exactly. that's it's, fucking. It's not okay, dude. Yeah, you can't that's touch not good at all. No. I saw this video years ago, years ago, years ago, bro. And tell me if you sympathize. I saw this video on my Facebook feed from a homie. Where it's like this kid is in a car. He's in the passenger seat of a car. And he's crying, bro. He's, bro, he's just sitting back. Tears in his eyes. He's not sobbing, but his tears are running down his eyes. And his boy that's driving and taking the video, he's laughing at him. I'm like, yo, you got some pipe. Yo, you got head. You got laid. And the guy that's crying, he's like... I didn't want to do that with her, man. She oh. just put herself on top of me. Like, I didn't know what to do. Oh, God. He's, he's crying. He's oh, like, no. he's like, she wouldn't let me go, man. She wouldn't let me stop. And he's like, you got the pipe. You got the pipe. I'm like, that homie, like, I feel bad for him, bro. Bad friend. <laughs> bad, fucking- bad fucking friend, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah. Like just because your your boy got some in doesn't mean he enjoyed it. Like he he was yeah I that was, happened to me. I think I've talked he was about already. I don't want to say it, but he was fucking. Mm-hmm. It was bad. But. Some girls are aggressive, man. Yeah, dude, hell some aggressive. Girls are aggressive. Yeah, you know, some people are aggressive. I don't want to say girls. Some people are aggressive. Yeah, no, it's not, 100%. A, it's not a female trait. Oh, I think when we say that though, it's a given that guys are aggressive. We just have to point yeah, out that girls right, are also right, aggressive. Right, right, right. It is. You know? It's unfortunate, man. I yeah. fucking I sympathize, girls. Don't have it. Some guys are fucking creeps. Yeah, hundred percent. Some guys are fucking creeps. Yeah. Well, let's talk about something funny. This is uh, not funny. We're, yeah, we got to get back to comedy. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is the wildest fucking excuse you've ever used to call out of work? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I did on fucking Monday. I called oh, out no. of work because I was like Monday. <laughs> allegedly, I was just, like, not into it. No, no, I didn't go to work on Monday. <laughs> not allegedly. Will your employer ever watch this? <laughs> uh, nah. Even if they do, it doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> It's not. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm a salesman, bro. If, I, if they want to fire me, finally get a new job. Okay. I don't yeah. give a shit. All right. Bro, Monday pulled up. I uh, I went to bed around midnight. I woke up at three in the morning, and I was just like, Mm-mm, I got to get up in another three hours. I'm like, no, that shit is not happening. I shut off my phone, shut it off, and went back to sleep. What? Shut off my phone and went back to bed. And I woke up, I was supposed to be at work at 7. I woke up around 9, 30, 10. Kept my phone off. Did errands, cleaned my house, what? watched TV. You did a no-call, no-show. Big time. Big time. Bruh. And you know what happened next? Nothing. My manager texted me after I turned on my phone. He had texted me a couple times. He's like, bro, you good? Like, what happened? You just didn't pull up. I was like, yeah, bro. I, I called him and I told him straight up. I was like, yeah. Honestly, man, I just woke up and I just shut off my phone. I just wasn't feeling it. He's like, well, don't do that. He's like, just text me and let me know. You're cool if you don't come. Just You got just got to tell me. Because I'm dope, bro. I get away with a lot. He's like, you just got to tell me. I was like, yeah. It's, it's wild how different our jobs are, dude. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. It's, he's like, just don't let it happen again, man. Just fuck it. It's cool if you call out. Just tell me. I was like, yeah, but sometimes I just got to shut off my phone and be invisible for a little while. He's like, whatever, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, besides a no call, no show, have you ever had like a wild excuse that was like completely a lie that you? Oh yeah, because I've I've done some wild ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've called out and I told them that my little, I had to take my little brother to the hospital. He, <laughs> I've had the, he, I said the same fucking thought, thing. Dude. I'm like, I, I told, yeah, it was on my last job, <laughs> and it was just like a long ass day. I was like running appointments with another guy, so all my appointments would be covered if I didn't show. Right. And then I was like, I called him that morning. I was like, hey, I gotta take my little brother to the hospital. He was riding his bike and fell and got a nasty spill. And he's like, oh, is he all right? I'm like, yeah, he's fine. It's gotta, there's no one to take him right now, so it's gotta be me. He's like, all right, well, be safe. Hung that motherfucker up, smoked weed. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And okay. fucking rolled a joint and smoked that motherfucker to the dome. Nice. Bro. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, I've done very similar things. I don't uh, like like the grandma dying excuse. <laughs> when she actually, if she actually does pass away, then I had I have to use it. Yeah, yeah, right. You're like, I can't do that I yet. Can't well, do that again. Luckily, how many grandmas sh- do you have? I shouldn't say luckily, but I've had so many family members pass that I can use them as luckily. Excuses. Yeah, I know. Thank sounds, God, most of my family has died at this point. It sounds point. dark, but yeah, I've it's, that's, that's another fuck, conversation. Dude. I've been to nine fucking funerals, dude. And I'm only 26. Mm. 25. Yeah, that's fucked up. 26 in a week or two. I have, I have not been to that many funerals yeah, at all. Yeah, it's fucked up. Um, one of the wildest excuses I've ever used was one time uh, I was like, yo, <laughs> this was at an apartment like six, seven years ago. I was like, yo, I can't I can't leave because someone got in a car accident in the exit of my apartment driveway. So I can't drive out of my apartment parking lot. Okay. And they're like, okay, well, let me know when it clears up. And I'm like, I will, but it's a pretty bad accident. <laughs> and they're like, how fucking bad can it be? Like, <laughs> like there are dead bodies on the ground. <laughs> right. So I waited and, and like three hours later, they hit me up again. They're like, hey, like what, what's the status? What's going on? And I'm like, okay. So I, I went to go leave, uh, and then, my, and then my car died <laughs> and I what piled fuck, on, I started John, piling dude. on more excuses. More? So I was like, my car died. I didn't say my car died, but I said, uh, um, you fuck. It was like my tire pop. It was something stupid like that. That's so dumb. So they're like, I don't believe you. They called you out. They called me out because I've called out a few times that job already. Yeah. This was a bullshit ass job. Yeah. Um, and Minimal they're like, I bullshit. don't believe you. So I, I drove like uh, two miles down from where my apartment was, right? Yeah, yeah. I pulled up on a curb on a sidewalk with just my front right tire. So it looked like my car was tilted. And then I took a picture of just the side of the car, and I was like, "Look, it's like yeah. on the side of the road," and sent it to them. And they're like, "Just get in when you can." Three more hours pass, and I'm like, "I'm not coming in today." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was bad. You know uh, what's crazy? I've done shit like that. I bro. went to a, a, a pretty extreme. That is pretty extreme, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty savage. Yeah. The fucked up part about that is those six hours that you had off, you can't even enjoy them. Oh no, I did. Oh, you I did? Was, I was fucking getting high as hell. I was I, drinking I'll, too. I'll be I was fucking... stressed out. I Nah, dude, mind. I'll be I thinking was, about like these motherfuckers if they because I don't like it when I'm high and people are expecting me and then I get a phone call. Well, I yeah, hate that, bro. This was a job where they treated their employees like shit. What was it? What did you do? Um, was it like ice cream restaurant? No, it was a. Uh, it was one of the first time I got into like an accounting type business. It oh, was this accounting job? Yeah, it was. I'm wicked fucking good with numbers, and it was this place where they're like, you have to take this number. And put it in this system. Yeah, my friend does a job just eight like that. Eight fucking hours a day. Yep. And I'm like, okay, I can do this in one of the eight hours. This yeah. is the stupidest fucking that job My in the friend world. does exactly, exactly what you just said. Continue. Yeah, it, it was so fucking dumb. And it was like, uh, it was like 11 bucks an hour. I was like, I don't give a shit about this job, like at all. Uh, I called out so many different times at that job. One day, I, I brought uh, uh, this dude I used to be cool with. Um, he had court in fucking Roxborough, Mass. Okay. Uh, is it Roxborough or Roxbury? I think it's Roxbury. I, I think it's Roxbury, yeah. Roxbury, Mass. Uh, fucking out there, and it's kind of like a ghetto area. It's like not a great area. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it, it was this fucking snowstorm, wicked bad snowstorm. So one Friday, I, was, I texted my work because he hit me up in the morning. He's like, bro, I don't have a ride. I need fucking help. This is like 911. I need to get to this court date or I'm yeah. fucked. Yeah. I was like, I got you, bro. I'd love to take <laughs> yeah, you. Don't worry. I got you, man. Called my job. I'm like, yo, my brother got arrested. Uh, I, think he's at, <laughs> I think he's at the station right now. I have to go there and make sure he's fine. And yeah. I went there and... J- didn't talk to my work for the rest of the day. They blew me up the rest of the day. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Brought my buddy to Roxbury. Stayed there the whole day with them. Fucking. Yeah. yeah that next Monday is when they fired me. But yeah. Oh, did they, they fire you that next month? Oh, yeah. They, they didn't take shit. After like three weeks. It was four weeks. And I worked like two of the four weeks from how much I called out. That's nice. Yeah. That That's job nice. was fucking, they, they were so mean to everyone. It was fucking horrible. Yeah. There are jobs like that, man. Where yeah. you're just like, it doesn't fucking matter. Have you ever done jury duty before? No, not yet. It's a lot of fun. You've done it? Yeah. I got called to do jury duty when I was 19. What? Yeah, and I did it, bro. And I did it. It was fucking awesome. I feel like I haven't heard that in a, in a few It was in Roxbury because that's where the car- courthouse is. I'm pretty really? sure. I'm yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So they call me to do it and I ignore the first summons. And the second summons is like, if you don't reply, like – you're mandatory. You have to go. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it. You whatever. You get like arrested for that or something, right? It's not something- anymore. I don't, I don't okay. think, not anymore. Yeah. I think it used to be not anymore. Like yeah. you can, it's optional now. Um, but the way that it works is you go with the time. They give you a time card when you're there. And for the hours that you were at jury duty, your job pays you for those hours. That's how it works. Oh, 
So it was, I was like, fuck it, yeah, I'll go miss a couple of days off of work and fucking have some jury duty. It'd be yeah, a blast. That's not bad. Um, so legally, I'm not supposed to talk about what the court case was about. Right. But it was some fucking white guy, and I oh, love, to, love to incriminate a white guy. Bro. So right, was, yeah. yeah. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> get, you know what I mean? Gotta so, get on the whites, you know? That's fucked up. I'm half joking, half serious. Moving on. Oh, Anyways. Yeah. I'm serious. So. so the guy was in court because he had been a prolific, avid alcoholic his entire life and has been arrested for DUIs, drinking and driving his entire life, like six, seven, eight times. Okay. Every single time he gets a warning and a way for it. And they were reading oh, his record. Him. Yeah. I, and that shit pissed me off because right. this motherfucker has been, bro, this motherfucker has spent nights in jail over being drunk driving. They pick him up. They bring him to the jailhouse, let him sober up in the jailhouse, and then send him back home. He's never gone, been to court for it before, right? So this one time he's in court, drinking and driving, uh, uh, got pulled over, had loose beer cans in the saddlebags. He was on a motorcycle like 4 a.m., had loose beer, loose uh, uh, you know, beer cans in the saddlebags, drunk as a fish. And it took three days to do the thing. And when we're deliberating, all the juries, like at the end of every day, we sit in a big room and we talk about what we think uh, right. we should do. Right. And at the very end, there's this lady that she was like, oh, I don't think we should incriminate him. Like, he sounds pretty not guilty to me. I'm like, what about this sounds not guilty to you? She goes, well, you don't know how drunk he was. You don't know if he was just leaving the bar. You don't know if he was almost home. I was like, what None is of that fucking matter? And you know what? Now looking back, I'm like, it sounds like that bitch sympathized because that's what she fucking does. 100%. I despise people that think they can get away with the motherfucking system. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and drink and drive because that's what I do, bro. Right, they right. get arrested, never get any fucking penalty for it no i did not let that shit stand I, I fucking called her out in front of everybody i'm like we're here to discuss whether or not i'm gonna say his name paul and fucking paul bitch ass we're bitch here to ass. discuss whether fucking paul is an alcoholic that was driving drunk in the middle of the road and endangering the people around him objectively it's true right. he has right. they proved it he's guilty and she's like i don't know every every uh, bro i was the youngest person there everyone else i was like the main person talking they just like let me take charge everyone else agreed with me they're yeah like, they're like fine like you're right bro he was caught drinking right objective as fuck there is no like in a sense like he was there and bro we we found him guilty she's the on, only person on the jury that voted not guilty everybody bitch. else voted guilty fucking dumb bitch yeah motherfucker got fuck his her. license taken away Good. i think he went to jail for a couple months Good. fuck that guy dude. yeah Fuck that guy. He better have fucking learned his lesson, too. And he hired an expensive-ass lawyer to get it off it, man. And that shit pisses me off, man. You're a person of color. You're not getting away with that shit. Oh, no. Ever. Not at never, all. Get never. the fuck. Yeah. If you're a minority, nah. You're not yeah. getting away with shit, bro. You can't get away with jaywalking as a minority. You ever see that video where the guy that is a designer for Louis Vuitton? I did. Cross the street. Bruh. Not on the crosswalk. Just And, bro, the police started harassing him. Yeah. What yeah. do you got in the back? Like, bad. 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 And bad. he's like, I just crossed the fucking road. Like, right. what are you do doing, yeah. bro? Dude, I always... Oh, don't get me started. I always say yeah. that every time I've gone out with my Hispanic and black friends places, I, I'm always like, yo, if cops start talking, or if cops come up to us, I'm talking. No one else fucking say yeah, anything. Yeah, straight up. Let me do all the talking. Straight up, like, I, I, It's fucked up, but that's the way it is. I, I've told this story on this podcast before, but there was this yeah. one time I almost... Me and my buddy almost got laid with these two girls from a party. They wanted to hang out. They wanted to go skinny dipping. And I was like, I know this spot that isn't too far from here. So we left the party around 1, 2 a.m. and started driving to this little lake that's in Andover. Andover is like next to Lawrence, which is kind of like the ghetto being next to a really rich neighborhood. Right. Basically, that's the way that it goes. And we drove into Andover and this cop pulled us over. He's like, what, you guys are from Lawrence? And we're like, yeah. He goes, what the fuck are you guys doing here? You're not supposed to be here right now. Right. He's like, go back to where you came from. Go. Get out of here. Go back to where you said it just like that. Go back to where you came from. I'm like, motherfucker, you piece of shit. And is it illegal for you to be in that town? Like, what? what is it? Like it's not illegal to be dry. Well, what, what we sh obviously shouldn't have been going to the lake. I mean, it's a public lake at late at night. Legally, you're not supposed to be there. But we didn't tell him Are that. you not supposed to be there late at night? Is that actually a law? I, I mean, it's like a, it's owned by um, the local government. So, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Because I was going to say, if there's not a legitimate like curfew or something that states you cannot be there after No, there hours, is a curfew. Okay. Right all right. Then, yeah. But we weren't even at the lake. Like, like, we were just driving there and we didn't tell yeah, him we were going go to the Go back to where you came and from. And he's like, go back to where you came from. I'm like, all right, bro, Jesus whatever. Jesus Christ. You know, but that's just the way we live in. So I, I got my little piece of justice. But I mean, objectively, he was guilty of all the charges presented. And all we did was find him guilty yeah. of what he was guilty of. Dude, I so. can't stand it when people try to defend people because those people are also addicts or they're also doing right. the same shit. It right. drives me fucking I'm sure you've seen in- quite a bit of that, dude. Bro, anal, when I see it on other places, and as soon as I hear someone start defending that other shit, I'm like, oh, I know how, I know how, what you're like. I don't need to hear anymore. I'm good. Yeah, it, it literally took me a couple mm-hmm. years of like thinking about it to be like, why did she respond that way? Why yeah. did she try to defend this guy that all the evidence was presented against him? Right. It was so obvious like the breathalyzer came back. He was way over the fucking limit. Like yeah. four and or five times. That, oh, we don't know how drunk he was. No, there was a measurement There taken. was a measurement You know how tool. drunk he was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a and fact. And she was just trying to defend him like, <laughs> I don't know. Like this is just like, yeah. she she kept saying stuff like, you would understand. You're really young. You really just oh, want to get it because you're, you're not over 21 yet. She was white. Uh, she was uh I, i'm gonna describe her she was a late 30s blonde hair blue eyes white lady average build oh yeah average height that's probably her look, wi- his wife <laughs> no know? his wife was there i met <laughs> right? his like, wife and his kids were there they all look like fucks mistress maybe no but, you know no, what i mean just because like she's sympathizing with them she's sympathizing because like, that's, that's what that, she does bro r- exactly she drinks at the bar Those until 2 a.m and then drives home 30 minutes yeah. back to her house i don't think jury duty is fucking a smart way to solve cases like that either it's like you're, you're trying to get unbiased opinions, but half the people in there are doing the are same biased. shit and they just haven't gotten arrested for it yet. But that's why uh, – but I actually kind of like the way that they do it. They get – and I, I kind of like it because they get a, a jury of our peers but from all wakes of life. Like I, do I was like, a 19-year-old right, on my first right, right. job. I like the variety. Exactly. Yeah. Like they were engineers. They right. were you know uh, business owners. They were yeah. fuck, fuckers. You know, there was everybody out there. Yeah. No, it definitely was good. Gun to your head. Gun to my head. Just kill me. Wake up. This is a long one. Wake up in another person's life or body with your current memories. Okay. Or wake up in this life with your body right now with someone else's memories. The first one. The first one? Yeah. You want to wake up in a completely different body, but you're like, you don't know what you're going to get. So you could be this six foot one fat asian i don't know like you could be anything like, what if all right if i stay in my own body do i lose my current memories or I yes just get, uh, okay. you have someone else's memories now no so, so you're like that. Uh, so you, which one <laughs> I, I would go to a new body keep my memories because that's what's important about for me like i i've said this my entire life yeah i don't care if i have my own kids yeah i, I don't care if i have to adopt if that's what it comes to at some point right what i want to pass on is not my genes but my thought process, my mentality, my the culture, you know, it's not about genetics. I mean, it is to an extent. Yeah, no, I, I'm 100% with you on that, though. I agree actually with everything you just said. Yeah, memories are way more important to me if I if I wake up and I don't know. I'm already fat, bald, in Spanish, bro. How fucking worse can I get? <laughs> uh, but I'm cute as hell, so that's, that's a different story. Nice. Gun to your head, all food is free for the rest of your life, Ooh. but you're a vegetarian. Okay. Or okay. all drinks are free for the rest of your life, but you can only drink hot drinks. Mm. I like cold drinks, man. I like cold drinks. I feel like I like 90% cold drinks, 10% hot drinks. So <laughs> you know vegetarian what I mean? food only? Yeah. For the that rest doesn't mean of your vegan. Life. I can still do milk and eggs and cheese. But meat, I love meat. Right? I love meat and a lot of shit so much that I don't know, but food being free is huge. I probably, you know, if I were to pick, I'd probably go with vegetarian. Yeah, I think I would too. I love, I love, dude, cold water and a fucking hot summer day. Right. Imagine drinking hot tea. No, hot tea and a hot water, day. Hot water, dude, on a hot day. It's nice. Have you ever had it before? Hot water? Yeah. Nah. Because no, it, thank you. It, it, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like a contrast. It kind of cools you down in a weird way. I don't know. I actually could see that now that you say it. It's like if you drink something boiling hot when you're boiling hot outside, 
it's probably going to almost like offset like ooh. yeah it's <laughs> it's it evens it out having yeah. a hot tea in a hot day isn't isn't the worst thing it's actually kind of nice hmm. um i didn't think about but that. i i'd stay a vegetarian probably because there's still a lot of good things you can have while being vegetarian but yeah. fucking hot drinks bro i'm just thinking about all the cold water and the juice right i don't drink coffee so that doesn't really matter for me I don't. I mean, even I like iced coffee more than hot coffee. But the only hot drink I would really have is hot coffee or a hot tea. Mm. So it's like that limits everything I can drink. So yeah, and, and food wise, I mean, it's not the if you become a vegetarian, worst comes to worst is you become healthier. So mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what I mean. It's not the end of the world. It's just gonna suck not biting into a fucking fillet for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? like, yeah, it is. Oh, a piece God. of a nice pork chop, bro. Yeah, but you can, get, on. you can get crazy with uh, some vegetarian shit. Would you so. eat cat? Yes. Would you eat cat and dog? Yes. How about that? Uh, I'm iguana? not gonna lie. I would eat. Anything if you didn't tell me what it was first. But you know what it is. Iguana. I would eat... Iguana's tasty. Cat. No, I I couldn't eat a cat or dog. I would eat an iguana. I would eat a cat or dog. Knowing it's a cat or a dog? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. What would you bite into first? What do you mean? I'd say like the leg muscles are probably the best, right? They're not going to have them on the bone. (laughs) Why not? They, They take the meat off. But why not? Have a nice chicken thigh? It's not a Jay's a dog. I know, thigh. but like it's a fucking dog awful. fucking thigh would be <laughs> ligaments and fucking that'd be so like <laughs> it just tastes like meat. I don't think it yeah. tastes any different. Um, I think it'd be really tough. I would I would absolutely I would bro, if I, I am going to go to China, I am going to go to Korea at some point. You're gonna eat a dog? And if I get offered dog or cat, I am going to eat it. I'm gonna try. Yeah, definitely. Why not? I don't I'll try know. that. I'll try cock, I'll try rat. Honestly, for me, anything. I would eat anything not knowing what it is. I feel like once I know what it is, it, it, it would put something in my head where I'd overthink it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's easy to overthink it, man. But if it fucking tastes good, who cares? I've eaten iguana that was living that morning that they fucking killed, cut the head off, skinned it, cooked it, mm. served it. I'd, I'd probably do that, though. That doesn't sound that crazy to me. What about like squirrel or chipmunk? There's not much meat there, but I'd probably do it. I'd yeah. do that too, yeah. Knowing still. Yeah, I'd eat anything. All right. I'd eat another person. A hamster. Still the same thing. <laughs> not much that's meat. A, that's a bite size. That's a chicken nugget, bro. <laughs> that's a bite size. Yeah. That's a bite. You eat it in one bite. <laughs> All the crunch and everything, bro. Hamster would be gross to me. I think that'd be nasty. That's a lot of hair. Yeah. You'd have to skin it first, and there's not oh, much big meat time. there. I would really hope you'd skin it first. And then you'd have to remove all the organs, and they have yeah. to remove all the bones, and there'd be very little meat there. What about uh, like little birds? I feel like birds wouldn't be bad. All right, well, you eat – so there's a, a meal that is like a bird egg. I think it's a chicken egg that they let the chick grow. Yeah, I've heard this. And then they cook it when it's like about to hatch. Is not it about that? to hatch, but like, yeah. I forget what they call it, though. Start with a B. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. Balut. Isn't that Balut? Balut? I think so, yeah. It's Balut, yeah. Um, I, I would try it. Yes, I would eat that. It seems pretty fucking gross, but I would try it. I mean, I would eat it. I'd start with the beak. But I'd probably have to be a little fucked up. I'd have to be a little under the influence. No, you're, you're pretty, I think you're pretty fucked up as is. But Good, point. Be all right. Good point. Good point. I'm thinking more. <laughs> I'm like, thinking, yeah, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, I'll be all right. Say, I, I'd say this. Nine times out of ten, someone sees me in life, unless I'm at work, I'm high. If I'm okay. high and you bring a balut up to me, I'll freak out. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to eat it. But if I'm drunk or, or just sober and I'm just chilling, like right now, if someone brought it to me, yeah, I'd try it. You know, I'd be like, eh, I'll bite into its little noggin, mm, mm. see if it fucking squeals or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like infant would probably be pretty good. A lot of meat there. Like a child? Like a human child? Yeah. I kind of agree with you there, to be There's honest. A lot, a lot of cartilage. Yeah. Probably like when you cook bacon like all like the fat that just kind of gets really really tasty and all the flavor and shits in there be, that sounds really good that's probably baby right next week's episode is gonna end no, i'm just kidding you can only eat one entree for each meal the rest of your life what are the three entrees you can only eat this for breakfast this for lunch and this for dinner rest of your life what i have three? to no yes. okay okay no variations but i can do like a dish it doesn't have to be like one thing it'd be like a dish yeah, entree. However you want to take okay, entree. Okay. Breakfast is going to be um, crispy spiced potatoes with eggs and and beef and cheese. Love it. Really? That's beef. it for the rest of your life for yeah, breakfast? For breakfast. Wow. Yeah. I figured that would get old. But potatoes would get to be a bit much for me for breakfast. And you can make, but that's why I said like, I mean, you can 
not that you can make them a dick. Because the whole gimmick is like you're going to eat it the same way every day. Right. Um, right. But no, dude, potatoes, eggs, steak, and cheese is yeah. a breakfast of champions, bro. I'm going to go classic bacon, toast, eggs. I get bored of bacon in two days. I'd never get bored of bacon. Bacon is not. I definitely uh, un- die pretty dude, uh, Unpopular opinion, bacon is overrated. I actually think bacon's underrated, to be honest. Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Bacon's on everything, bro. I motherfuckers wrap lettuce and bacon and put it in the grill. Well, I will say, bacon nowadays is on fucking everything, and it's it's annoying. I don't eat bacon that often, so the, the select times I have it, I fucking love it. But I, I agree with you. I'm with you on that, dude. You go to a restaurant, seven of the 12 things have bacon in them. It's like, why? Yeah. They don't fucking need it. Yeah, yeah. Bacon. Like, uh, uh, I don't know, man. Just People just wrap shit in bacon and yeah. like, oh, this is delicious. No, motherfucker. It's just a greasy fucking bullshit. Even now. at work, dude, this is like cares? this Chipotle turkey sandwich from this place called The Bridge. Phenomenal sandwich. It's just... Turkey, chipotle sauce, cheese. Uh, they um, some you can ask for sauerkraut in it, and they have fruit salad and shit on the side. Um, some crazy other seasoning, avocado spread, and then they add oh, bacon. Love avocado. It's like everything else in there love is perfect. Avocado. You don't need to add bacon to that type of thing. But I, I agree. For lunch, yep, yep. Lunch would have to be just a classic sandwich, bro. Classic sub, bro. What? Yeah. The rest of your life. Yeah, classic, classic fucking sandwich. I'd say. I know I went with steak for breakfast, so I'm probably going to go steak and cheese sub for lunch, bro. Steak, cheese, mayo, Ooh, onions, peppers. Ooh, that's a good one. You know? Classic, man. That shit does not get old. I get a steak and cheese every day, bro, if I wanted to. Fuck, man. You might have you might have persuaded me. That's, I think I might go with that what, one. What were you going to say? I was thinking kind of along the same lines, but I, I don't really know to the T yet. I, I want it to be a wrap, almost. Mm-hmm. I love chicken wraps. A I panini. love paninis. Uh, oh, God, man. Steak and cheese, though. That is something I could eat potentially on a daily basis. Yeah, I could not. I would not. never go. I think I'm going to go with it. you on that. Steak bomb. I'll take the entire thing minus the mushrooms. Fuck I, mushrooms. Same here. I, I just, the texture of mushrooms throws me off. Texture and taste. I'm not fond of either. Yeah, yeah. me either. Yeah. I tried a million times. I just can't get into it. Yeah. And then for dinner, yep, yep. I'm, I'm going to go with my number one comfort food that since I was a kid, okay. if I'm sad. Ooh, hold on. Let me, let me see if I remember it. You've said this once before. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's a pork. Uh, hold on. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Fuck, I can't think of it, but I know it has a bunch of crazy shit yeah, in it. It's, it it's a pork though, right? Yes. All right, all right, right lay it on me. <laughs> my mom, bro, my mom used to make this shit as a kid, and it just like – Turns my day around. She makes it for me on like my birthday, on Christmas, because she knows she knows a lot of this. My favorite thing. Yeah, it's a fucking Spanish pork roast, a pernil, which is slow cooked in the oven, bro. Juicy and tender as anything, fatty, crispy skin. Love it all the way. Fucking rice with uh uh, uh the we call them guan, guandulas in Spanish. In English, what would we call those? Um, gandules. I don't know. No, that's how you say it. G- gandulas? Gandulas. I, I don't think there is an English. Is that what you said? Was yeah. the English way of saying it? Well, I think they're just green green beans. Or like they're not peas. They look like peas, but they're like green beans. Okay. But anyway, there's like a rice dish where you make rice and the beans in the same pot, and the rice gets the flavor of the beans. And this particular kind of bean, gandulas, is so fucking flavorful that it just <laughs> the rice is so fucking delicious. But a little side of avocado, a little side salad, tomato, lettuce, red onion. Yeah. Fucking just chilling there. No dressing, bro. And you just fucking. <clears throat> nice. And I'd, I'd be a million pounds, bro. Yeah. That's, a that's good why I was a fat kid, bro. My mom used to make me happy. Yeah. With my food, bro. Yeah. I, I have a few comfort foods like that, but I'm not going to lie. I think my comfort food, my dinner. It's probably going to come from some shit that my ex made. My ex was a phenomenal cook, dude. Hit me with it. Hit me with it, bro. She made some crazy shit. So her shepherd's pie was phenomenal and her chicken awesome. pot pie Love was phenomenal. Pie. Because they both were pie. homemade. They weren't just like store-bought shit. Yep. And the homemade shit's always 10 times better. Oh, yeah. But I think I'm going, it's Parmesan-crusted cheese. No, Parmesan-crusted chicken. So it's pretty much- Chicken th- parm? Kind of. It's a little less. It's not uh, fried at Parmesan all. Parmesan crusted chicken. Okay, I it's understand. not fried at all. So you have. It's just like two to three layers of cheese on top of fat chicken breast. You put it in the oven for a while. Yeah. Um. You let that cook, kind of like slow cook. 
with the sides of it's going to be probably green beans. Love green beans. Maybe some carrots. Love carrots. Mashed potatoes. Love mashed potatoes. Glass of milk. Glass of milk. Glass of milk. Takes it home, Pop bro. Pop that fucking shit Takes off. Takes I was actually going to go with filet, home. but boy, that, that steak and that cheese for lunch, quick. bro. That that uh, Well, no. Filet I could eat. All three a filet, meals. but a filet isn't even the best cut of steak you can get, bro. Filet yeah. is okay. Filet is all meat, no fat. And so the, that's, I think, the only reason why I would want it is because it's lean. It's lean. It's it's a healthier thing that I could eat. What I just named for my uh, dinner, fatten you the fuck up, you know. But um, yeah, yeah. No, I think those are those are pretty three damn good fucking things. That yeah, was, I think we fucking hit it right. Yeah, on the head, bro. that was nice. That <laughs> People listening amazing. are like, oh, we should try cooking. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, man. Spanish food, fucking amazing stuff. All right, let's fly through a bunch of dumb shit and then get the fuck out of here. I agree. Let's do it. Um, nope, not bringing that up. That's going to be a whole conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is going to get really dark. I'm going to touch on this and just move right past, all right? Yep. 13-year-old kid shoots a Snapchat rival. Shoots him? And killed him, and he's dead now. Hilarious. Uh, next one. If you could, uh, Snapchat rival. <laughs> right? Like I that read mean? that, and I was like... What does that mean? Apparently, he's popular on Snapchat, and this other kid from school is also popular, and he shot and killed him. Okay, if you could... Uh, nope, I already did that one. Will Smith okay. did a full interview about Jada again. Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith and their whole marriage and shit. He did another one. Who cares? Another full dude. They're in an open marriage. You like the fuck other people who? What, why the Smith? fuck is this news? Why? Because, why is this? You know what I mean? Why go full? Why do full interviews? They're both talking about how sad and depressed they are. It's, we don't have to go deep dive on it. I'm just saying you guys are doing it to the yourselves. Why are You're they fucking, married if they don't like exactly. each other? Exactly. Thank you. It's on the nose. Like just fucking split up. You both bazillionaires. Just fucking live your lives. Like you yeah. fucking losers. Uh, <laughs> what's the most annoying way you've ever been woken up? Oh my god! Okay, I got you, bro. <laughs> oh, oh god. I got you, bro. So I hate waking up in general. I don't okay. like waking up, especially as a kid, bro. I used All to right. always wake up late for school. Um, my mom used to come into the room and say "levántate." Levántate means get up in Spanish. Okay. And she would say, and at first it'd be always like nice and funny, but by the end she'd be yelling, "levántate, get the fuck up!" Okay. It's yelling at me, bro. Right, right, right. So when my little brother was born, Misael, he was a little kid. He loved to talk and never pronounced anything correctly. And he loved, he was always up early and he loved the way my mom used to yell at me, levántate. So he used to copy her. So when she would come into the room and say, levántate, levántate, he would come into the room and say it too. Oh my God. But he didn't so know how to say it. Both yelling. Well, at one point, my mom's <laughs> like, fine, this isn't my job anymore. This is your job. Now. Okay. I don't want to do it. All right. So every morning, four years, up until college, until college, bro, my little brother would walk into my room every morning, 6, 7 a.m. Because he couldn't say levántate. He didn't know how to pronounce it. He would go, elefante, 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 (laughs) elefante. elefante." elefante. (laughs) Every fuck, he would say elephant to me (laughs) every morning until Uh, I woke up. So I wake up, elefante, elefante. And it was cute as fuck the first couple times. Right. And I was like, get the fuck. I I would yell him, get out. I swear to God, get the fuck out of my room, It'd wake you up though, right? It'd wake me up, bro. Yeah, it worked. Did the job. Piece of shit, bro. Yeah. So I used to get woken up with elefante every day. Yeah, no, that's that's what about you that was annoying as fuck what about um, you um i got two that come out off the top of my head at least i could probably think about more but these two are pretty severe uh the first one because of how much drugs were abused in the place i used to live i would get woken up almost on a daily basis from the fire alarm that was really fucking annoying that's fucking annoying really loud high pitch i'm sensitive to high that's pitch noises awful. in general it's yeah fucking, from waking up with that that yeah, was yeah. just traumatizing how fucking loud that shit was and it literally was on a daily basis and yeah. it wasn't Oh, it's my alarm goes off at six and it's going off at five. No, it was one in the morning, then three in the morning, then four thirty. No then shit. Then six. It was. That's awful. It was bad. Uh, the second one, which is probably the most uh, fun one, is I have gotten repeatedly punched in the face by an ex to get woken up. That was by far the worst experience of getting woken up I've ever had. She thought I was cheating on her. Uh, she was cheating on me, so. Yeah, projection, bro. Yeah, projection. projection. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, she read some foul thing in my phone, thought it was to a girl, and it was actually to a guy. Uh, and, so you're uh, just being sus with the homies. Being hella sus with the homies. And um, I was actually saying something to the homie that a girl said to me and that I, how I was reacting to it. And she read it and immediately just thought the worst. Didn't 
turned me over. So I was sleeping on my side and she went around the side. One, two, three, four. And then I got up and threw her off the bed. I was like, get the fuck off me. Like, what the fuck's happening? What a piece of shit. Yeah, it was bad. So, oh. Yeah, that was the worst by far. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Yeah. Not as funny as Elefante, but. No, yeah, Elefante was, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah getting punched in the dome. Bad. Bad. Rough, rough way to wake up. Bad, yeah. I've had dogs, animals wake me up just by licking my face. That was pretty cute. Nothing really bad other than yeah. that. Yeah. So. My kitty cat, when I wake up, she comes over. Papa. Papa. She hears me. She hears me like when I wake up, I move around a lot when I wake up. I jump, toss and turn in bed when I'm waking up. Same. Every morning she's been waking up and coming right over. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> comes over and just fucking sits with me, bro. Hella strange noises. Yeah. Well, next week I might have a bearded dragon to join us. Who knows? A um, beer? Bearded dragon. Oh, I heard a beard to dragon and join <laughs> us. I'm like, okay. Gonna have a beard to dragon ratio on the pod next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the pod. We appreciate y'all tuning in next week to the brutal fucking view. Yes, sir. Well, uh, might have a Halloween thing, might not. If not, happy Halloween. Enjoy the enjoy the fall weather. Enjoy the week. It's almost Friday. I have AIDS. <laughs>